up, everyone? I'm going to uh, let the live stream do its thing for a couple couple seconds, maybe a minute or two. Wait for some people to join up. Welcome to Theory and Tea Time with Fern. I am Fern. This is my tea. The, uh, the mission of this is to have one cup of tea and just talk about some theory and however much time that takes. Try not to go too long. Keep these short and concise. Um, I'm going to give it a minute and then I'll just jump right in. Today's th- topic is major scale. So the intervals that make up a major scale, the chords that are implied in a major scale, and how to use it a little bit on the guitar. I was asked to make these more guitar related, so I'm going to try my best with that. I'm going to give it a minute. a minute thank you to the three people hanging in this right now um there is a chat that we can talk in so if you have any questions please hit the chat up uh, it's more engaging when people are using the chat so let's chat away all right so i just finished playing a bunch of chords there weren't anything special but all those chords were diatonic to the major scale and all that means is it's staying in key diatonic means staying in key. And I'm going to be using that word a lot. A lot of diatonic major, diatonic chords. All that means is in our major scale. All right. So if you're uh, watching at home, you should have the Google Doc opened up. If you have the Google Doc opened up, um, scroll down to where it says intervals. That should be like the third or fourth page. I think page four. Because the first thing you got to understand in music is the word interval. So the, an interval is the distance between two notes. And right now we're going to be working with two specific types of intervals, whole steps and half steps. A whole step is when you're on the guitar going two frets. So I just went from the third fret to the fifth fret. That is a whole step. A half step on the guitar is half of that. It's just going one fret from the third to the fourth fret, or the fourth to the third. You can do these whole steps and half steps in either direction. So, a whole step on the guitar, going one fret, going two frets, and then a half step, going one fret. Now, the next thing you have to understand is the musical alphabet. This may be a really basic topic for most people, but real quick, the musical alphabet goes A through G. There's no H. There's only seven letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. That's it. One through seven. Seven letters. And there's some sharps and flats in there. So I have in the Google Doc the definition of a sharp, which is a half step higher, or a flat, which is a half step lower, and all the accidentals. A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp and G sharp. There are five accidentals. A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. There is no E sharp and there is no B sharp. So those two just don't really exist, but they do exist theoretically, which we'll get into eventually. Um, And then there are five flats, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat, and A flat. But they're the same notes as the sharp. So the note C sharp is the same note as D flat. So here is the note C, and here is the note D. 
there was one fret in between there. There's that fourth fret in between. If we're looking at it from C, that is C sharp, since we went up one. If we're looking at it from D, we can call it D flat, because we're one lower than D. So C sharp and D flat, the same notes. Um, if that's something that you just don't understand, that's okay. But shoot me a message or write in the chat and we can explain that more. I don't want to go in too much on that uh, sharp and flat thing. Okay, so if you go to the next page, it uh, starts our Tuesday exploring the major scale. And that's going to be the intervals that make up a major scale. I have them written out in the doc. It's a whole step and then a whole step a half step, and then three whole steps. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. That's what makes up your major scale. So if we start on a note, we go a whole step, another whole step, a half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. What's up? I don't know who Pop Culture on Trial is, but hello. Thank you for tuning in. All right, hello also. So, I'll do that one more time without talking over it. All right, so, one more time. That's your major scale. If you listen to it, it's uh, just a major scale. That's what someone decided back in like ancient Greek, that that's the major scale. It's also known as the Ionian mode. Um, there are seven modes in music, and the major scale is just one of the seven modes. It's the most popular. The second most popular one will be the minor scale, also known as the Aeolian mode. So today we're just going to stick into major, or Ionian. I'll write that in the chat. What's up, Aiden? Ionian equal to major scale. Okay. So. D. Now, we can do that scale starting from any note. You can start on the note F. You play those same intervals. Whole, whole, half. Whole, 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 half, and you're gonna get what makes a major scale. We could do it on a different note. I can start on the note D. Notice it sounds the same, but we're starting from a different place. What's the difference between a scale and a mode? Okay, so. A scale is kind of just like a bunch of notes played at once. Normally there's seven, but there's the pentatonic scale, which has five notes in it. There's some eight note scales. There's some 12 note scales. Um, a mode is when you play a scale from a different degree. And that's where it gets a little confusing. Um, I don't want to, I'm going to be going into all these different modes throughout the time, but let's say you played a major scale. But instead of starting on the first note, you started on the second note. But you played that same scale. Hear how that sounded different? We started and ended at a different place. So this one sounded a little minor. Um, it's not true minor, but I don't want to get too far down the rabbit hole. Basically, a mode is when you start a scale on a different degree. So the major scale is the Ionian mode, it's just from the first degree. You're starting on the root, which is the one. Um, great, so in this case, I'm playing a C major. Now, the cool thing about C major, um, if you tuned into our chat yesterday, we talked about key signatures. Um, and the key signature of C major is zero, no sharps or flats. So when we play our C major scale, and we go whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, we do that whole uh, interval scale, we're going to get the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. 
That's why C major is used a lot because it's the easiest. There's no sharps or flats. So the one in C is C. The two will be D. The three will be E. The four is F. The five is G. The six is A. And the seven is B. And there's no sharps and flats, so it's just easy to remember they're all natural notes. When we go to a, ca a scale like G major, if you tuned in yesterday, you should know that G major has one sharp in it. When we go up and down on G major, we're going to start to add that one sharp, which is F sharp. When we do our whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half thing, those intervals produce one accidental, and that's F sharp. Right there, there's your F sharp, and there's G. I'll go slower. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So now G is one, A is two, B is three, C is four, D is five, E is six, and F sharp is seven. When we start on a key like F major, this also has one ex accidental, but instead of being a sharp note, it's now a flat note. The fourth degree is going to be B flat instead of B natural. F, G, A, B flat, because there's your half step, there's your half step, to C, to D, to E, to F. Now F is the one, G is the two. A is the three, B flat is the four, C is the five, D is the six, E is the seven, and then back to one of F. Great. So what I want to do for the remainder of the little lesson is to talk about the chords. So if you scroll down a bit, you're going to get diatonic major chords. When we're playing in our major scale and we're playing chords the one chord is always major so i'm going to go back to the key of c because the key of c is just home base right now so we have c major the two chord is minor so that's a d minor the three chord is minor so c d E minor. The four chord is major. The five chord is major. The six chord is minor. Seven is diminished. And then the last chord is major, which is back to the one. So we have major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminish. Wouldn't the three be E flat? It would be E flat if you're in the minor key. The three, in this case, in the key of C, uh, the third is major is E. Because if we follow our whole steps and half step patterns, we're going to land on the note E. Starting on C, going up a whole step gets us to D. And now going up another whole step gets us to E. If we go to E flat, that would be a half step. Whole step, half step. That would get us E flat, but that's not how the major scale sounds like. We have to go whole step and then whole step. E natural. C, D, E, and then we go half step to F, whole step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C. All right? So going back to the chord, one major, major, I'm going to try to type this real quick. You also fly it in the third to play. Yes, you do fly it in the third to play a minor chord. Yes. But we're staying in our major keys. 
Um, you're asking really good questions, man. Um, so basically, when so when you play a C major scale and we're going the chords off of them, every time you start from a different note, you have to play that different chord. So the one chord is major, the two chord is minor, because the notes in this scale produce a minor chord. This is going down a big rabbit hole that I would love to get into, but I feel like it's gonna it's gonna just kind of take forever to explain. But the notes in a D minor chord are D, F, and A. D, F, A. D, F, and A are the notes in a C major scale also. To play a D major, we would have to play D, F sharp, and A, and that would break key. If I play D, F sharp, and A, well, that F sharp is no longer in the key of D. This is allowed. You're allowed to break key all the time. But for right now, we're trying to stay in diatonic and strict major just so we can understand those concepts more. All right, so the one chord is major. The two chord is minor. The three chord is minor. The four chord is major. The five chord is major. The six chord is minor. And the seven chord is diminished. So let's uh, let's jump to a new key. We're gonna go to a key, uh, the key of G major. In the key of G major, the notes are G, A, B, C, D, E, and F sharp. Don't forget that the seventh degree is F sharp now, not F natural. Um, can anybody in the chat, if you're out there, can you tell me what is the two chord in the key of G major? The two chord in the key of G major. I'll give it like a minute. And if no one answers, then I'll just answer it. It's fine. What is the two chord in the key of G major? Nobody? Three? All right, well, the two chord in the key of G major would be A minor. So G is the one, and then after G comes A, and that's the two chord. Um, what would the four chord be? I'll give you a minute at home. Well, what is the four chord in the key of G? The four chord in the key of G is C, G, A, B, and C. And if we're following these chords, it would be C major because the four chord is major in our diatonic major scale. All right, so we're gonna just do a couple chord progressions and hear how they sound and we'll throw them around in different keys real quick. So we're in the key of G, key of G, one sharp, I want to play a one, two, four, five. One, two, four, and five. One in the key of G in the key of G would be G A minor, because that's the two chord. Four is C, and five is D. G, that's the two chord, this is the four chord, Five chord. One, two, four, five. Got a question in the chat. 
why is seven called diminished? It's called diminished because it's a diminished chord. So a diminished chord is when you lower the third a half step and you lower the fifth a half step. Now, once again, we're kind of going into like deeper topics. So maybe you and I should jump on like after this, we could jump on a quick video chat and I can try to answer some of these more intense questions because I just don't want to uh, derail the direction because that's just going to take a little bit of time. But real quick, a diminished chord is flat. Uh, it's when you flat the five and you flat the third. On the seventh degree, we're in the key of F sharp, which would give you the notes F sharp, A, and C if you did a triad. F sharp, A, and C would be your triad, and that's a diminished triad. All right, so if we jumped keys, if we went away from the key of G into the key of F, F has one flat in it, B flat. Can anybody play or let me know the chords of that same progression in the key of F? One, two, four, and five. What is one, two, four, five in the key of F? One, two, four, and five in the key of F. All right, so one, two, four, and five. Great job. Great job. All right. And Aiden, good job, too. Very good. Um, okay, so, yeah, no, Alex, you messed up a little bit. It's okay. You guys are getting close. You're getting close. Try it again. One, two, four, and five in the key of F. Try it again. Try it again. The both of you, you guys are close, but your uh, one or two notes are wrong. F, G, B flat, and C. Yes, good job. Okay, so the only thing is the second chord is not G major. It's G minor. You got to get your chord tones in there. So F, G minor, B flat, and C. Because our two chord is always going to be minor. All right, let's try another one. Let's go to the key of D major. All right, Aiden and Alex, let's see if you guys can figure this out. In the key of D major, I'm going to write out the key of D for you. It's okay if it's confusing, man. You got to do it a bunch of times. So the key of D major has two sharps in it, two sharps in the key of D. What is one, two, four, five in the key of D? One, two, four, five in the key of D. One, two, four, and five. I'm going to wait till one of you answers. You guys can do it. I know you can. One, two, four, and five in the key of D. D, E minor, G, and A. Alex, great job. That is correct. D, E minor, G, and A. Very good. All right, Aiden. And Julian, oh, this is great. Great job, guys. Okay, so, Aiden, the only thing you have to remember is that the E is minor. You got to put that little M next to it to signify that it's a minor chord. So the two chord is going to be minor. All right, let's go to a new key and let's try this one more time. We're going to go to the key of, let's go to the key of C. Does anybody know what the key of C is? I'll give you a second. What is the key of C major? How many sharps or flats in C? Does anybody know? Zero. Very good, guys. Very good. Zero. So what is our one, two, four, 
5 progression in the key of C. What is 1, 2, 4, 5 in the key of C? Yes. Very good. Very, very, very good. C, D minor, F, and G. That's great. So, great. Now, Alex, you forgot your D minor. That's the only thing. If you played a D major chord, what would happen is you're going to now, you're going to be adding a note out of key, which is fine. I love playing D major chords in the key of C all the time. But what happens there is you're breaking key. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get really good at staying in key before we break it. But you're allowed to break key whenever you want to. Um, all right. Can anybody give me four random numbers? I want us to make our own progression together. Anybody want to just type in four numbers for us? They got to be between one and seven, though. Four numbers. I'm going to wait. Wait. One, seven, four, three. Okay, great. Now, the other thing to start doing is in music, we like to do Roman numerals. So we're going to go with Aiden's first, and then we'll go to Julian's. One, seven, four, and three. All right. One, seven, four, and three. We're going to go to the key of, uh, we'll go to the key of B flat. And that's going to be two flats in the key of B flat. All right, somebody tell me what is one, seven, four, three in the key of B flat. Yes, Jillian, good job. All right. And she did what, what she did a really, really good job in is she kept her chord tones. So the seventh degree is diminished. You get this A diminished chord. And then the third degree is minor. So you got that D minor. B flat, A diminished, E flat, and D minor. Awesome. Great job. Uh, all right. So what was another number? Someone said 7523. What is seven? Five, two, and three in the key of B flat. Seven, five, two, three, key of B flat. Who's got it? Seven, five, two, and three. I was, I was throwing one in there. That's going to be weird starting on the seven, but yes. Yeah, so that's going to be, whenever you don't have the one chord, it makes the progression sound ambiguous because there's no one chord. There's no home. What seven, five, two, three sounds like is this. So 
that's that's the chord progression you just wrote, which is kind of nice actually. What being ambiguous is fine. It makes it nice, and then eventually you land on the one chord, and the listener can feel that sense of home. Um, you just missed one chord in there. The D needs to be a D minor because the three chord is minor. All right, guys. So that was really good. Um, to wrap it up, or just to a little bit of a summary, uh, the intervals in a major scale are whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So you start on a note, whole step, whole step, half step, whole, 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 half. You could practice that on your guitar anywhere. You just start on any note and you go a whole step, a whole step, a half step, a whole step, a whole, a whole, and then a half. And remember, a whole step is two frets on the guitar and a half step is one fret on the guitar. Um, and then we have our major chords, major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. The one chord is major, the two is minor, the three is minor, the four is major, the five is major, the six is minor, and the seven is diminished. Um, yeah, and then you jump around your keys and you get, you get good at hearing the same progression in different keys. One progression, that's really good to hear always is your one, four, five. So we're in the key of B flat. What is one, four, five in the key of B flat? One, four, five in the key of B flat. Somebody tell me. One, four, five. The purest B flat, yeah. B flat, E flat, and F. Very good. All right, let's go to a different key. Key of G. You all should know what the key of G is. What is one, four, five in the key of G? One, four, five in the key of G. One, four, five in the key of G. You guys can do it. One, four, five in the key of D. Aiden, I want you to try that again. I don't know what MG means. Julian got it. One, four, five in the key of C is G. A, B, C is your four, and D is your five. Mistype. That's okay. One, four, five in the key of G. That's one and four. Here's one and four again. And here comes five. Here comes four. And back to one. Here's four. Here's five. And there's one. All right, last key. Let's do one, four, five in a different key. Give it to me in the key of E major. E major has four sharps in it. I'll write it out for everyone. All right. Key of E major. One, four, five in the key of E.
one, four, five, and the key of G. Yo, Jillian, thank you for subscribing. Um, and thank all of you for subscribing to the channel. It's great. E, A, and B. I love it. Here comes five. Here comes one. Four. One. So you can have a lot of fun with these diatonic chords. There's seven of them. And you can, there's a lot of different combinations you can make with them. Um, in the beginning, I just like throwing random numbers out, hearing what they sound like. And then you can go through and change a chord here and there if you want to change it. And that's a nice way to start writing some diatonic music. Um, a big thing in major writing is having a song start on the one chord. It does a progression. And then the next section starts on the four chord. So we're going to go to the key of C, and this is the last thing we'll do because this is already longer than I wanted it to be. So a nice little thing is just kind of going back in the key of C. And uh, we all know that C is no sharp to flats. So let's make a, uh, a progression in the key of C. I want the first chord to be C and have it be either two or four chords. Someone give me four numbers in the key of C, starting on C though. So the first one has to be one. Four numbers in the key of C. Let's see what happens. All right, we just got two things come in. So we're going to go with the first one. One, three, six, and four. Oh, wow, that's, you guys are really similar. All right, we're going to go with, with Jillian's. One, three, six, four. Who can tell me what one, three, six, four is? One, three, six, and four. What is one, three, six, four in the key of C? Close. Aiden, you're close. You got to get the right major and minors in there. And also... G is, you're a little off. You're a little off. Try that again. One, three, six, four in the key of C. One, three, six, four. Someone tell me the right chords. I'm going to give another 20 seconds. One, three, six, four. Who knows the right chords? And no anybody. I gotta learn the Jeopardy theme song. Alright. One, three, six, four. One. Thank you, Mom, for that. Alright, guys, you're um, you're having a little difficulty here. One, three, six, and four. The one is C. If we want to get to the third. C, D, and E. E minor is the third note. Julian, try it again. Try it again. A minor. Very good. Now, the other thing is your last chord is incorrect too. So C, 
E minor, A minor, and then what's the four chord? What is the four chord? It's not G. G would be the five in this case. C, D, E, F, and G. So we got to get to that four chord. There it is. All right, the progression we have right now is C. Sounds really nice. E minor. A minor. And then F. C, I'll do it again. Here's your three chord. Cool. Now, eventually, not for today, but you want to get used to what those numbers sound like. Like this sounds like the one chord. That E minor is very distinctly your three chord. So eventually you get used to what three feels like, what four feels like. These are all ways that you can communicate music to people and ways that you can listen to music and just know how to play it. Like if I hear a song, I can start hearing the progressions before I even pick up an instrument because I'm like, oh, that's one, that's four, that's five, that's six. And you, you get used to hearing those notes. Um, all right. Very good job, guys. Very good job. So um, I think that's about a good point for this major scale stuff. We went over what makes up a major scale. We went over the different degrees. And we went over the different chords that are assigned to those degrees. So the one chord is major. The second degree is minor. The third degree is minor. The four is major. The five is major. The six is minor, and the seven is diminished. I'm going to leave the last two minutes. If anyone wants to answer a question, I'll stay on this live stream and answer as many questions as you want. If not, I'll go back to my bed and watch more Netflix. So, yeah, if anybody has a question, please write it. I'll just hang, play our chord progression until then. I'm thinking I want to go outside, but I haven't been outside in a while. Be good to uh to do some writing and like be outside in the world. But uh yeah. I got oh I also thank you, Palm. I have a um I got a new single coming out April 10th. So if you're listening to this after April 10th, just go watch it on Spotify right now. It's called Maria Maria. play that song in a while all right so if there's no other questions um you guys can always every key has one diatonic diminished chord it's always going to be the seventh degree so in the key of c major your seventh is b c d e f g a b so the b in that case is diminished in the key of g major your seventh degree is F sharp. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. So then in that case, your F sharp is diminished. So if you just want to know, like, all right, I got this chord uh, F diminished. What key is F diminished in? Well, F diminished, that's actually a hard one. It's in the key of F sharp or the key of G flat. And then let's say we have a key like a chord uh, A diminished. What is A diminished in? Well, A is the seventh of B flat, so B flat major has an A diminished chord in. The thing to do right now is to get really good with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are all those chord types? And then you can figure out what key they belong in. All right. Um, I feel like we've lost a lot of people. If anybody is interested in private lessons, just let me know. Um, that was way longer than I thought, and I ran out of tea. So tea's gone.
Um, yeah, thank you all for checking in. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Um, maybe we'll explore the minor chords tomorrow. Tomorrow. Today we did major chords. We'll do minor chords tomorrow. Have a good one, everyone.